Hey, and welcome back to this European Schoolnet Academy Games in Schools course. This is module three, where we're specifically looking at learning games. And throughout this module, we're looking at different genres of learning games. And in particular, in this video, we're going to be looking at language games. And these are games that are designed to help improve your language and literacy skills, but also to teach you a language which you might not be familiar with, a modern foreign language, some people might call it. One little tip to get going before we get started is that you might want to consider um, changing your language and location settings on your desktop PC or on your games console. This could be a great way to introduce different words for really familiar words and phrases for students either at home um, or in your classroom. So we're going to talk a little bit now about different language apps and language apps have become big business in recent years. Many language apps are free. A lot of the language apps you pay for and probably the most language apps are what we call a freemium. This means that they're free to start with, but as you progress through the game or the app, you have to pay in order to unlock the next level or to unlock the next part of the learning. It's up to you to decide whether you think the language apps are any good or not, but I'm just going to share with you here some of my favourite ones that are available at the moment and ones that have been highly popular in schools that I've worked with or with teachers that I've spoken to. My favourite, without a doubt, is still Duolingo, and there's lots of reasons for this. But one of the reasons is that it's now available in 23 different languages, all the sorts of languages that would normally fit within a national curriculum of a European country, um, but also as well, um, it's free, and that makes it incredibly desirable for education. It's got a lot of really good gamified features. It's become really quite sophisticated in the last, in the last few years. Uh, you can compete against yourself, you can unlock achievements, and you can gain experience points to be part of a leaderboard. So Duolingo is definitely worth checking out and definitely worth having a go with. It's available as an app. It's also available on a desktop or a laptop computer. Here are three other apps that I wanted to mention, and I mention them for different reasons. First of all, I wanted to mention FluentU. FluentU, again, is a really, really good uh, language learning app. It's available in nine different languages, but what I like about it is that it uses video as its main teaching tool. And these are, these are videos um, that it's basically managed to curate across the internet, as well as some of its own curated content. So it, so it always makes the language lessons highly culturally relevant. I wanted to mention Babbel. Um, Babbel is a really is a really good app, um, and it's also one of the most popular paid language apps that are available. Although you can have some of the lessons um, for free when you start using the app, it's available in fourteen different languages, and again, highly gamified in terms of leaderboards, experience points, and ways that you can track your own progress in an engaging way. Bravoli is another one of my favourites, and you'll notice from the parrot icon that actually it places a huge emphasis on speaking. And I mean, let's face it, if we're learning a modern language, particularly if we're learning a modern language to go on holiday, it's the speaking part which is the most important part, yet it tends to be the bit that we don't practice enough in schools, where we often focus on reading and writing skills. So Bravoli is all about speaking, uh, and again, it's a really, really good language learning app, and it's available in 18 different languages. And the last app that I wanted to mention is an app called MindSnacks. And the reason that I mention this is it's a great example of a freemium, freemium app, but it's also a great example of an app which has been designed in combinations with games design experts and language specialists, including teachers. Um, it includes, includes a whole series of mini games, ways to track your progress and also to unlock achievements. And actually, it was the most popular language learning app of 2016. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're interested in this sort of thing. Two other things <clears throat> just to mention at the end of this video is that so far we've focused on apps that help you learn a language other than your own. But don't forget that we could also use some of these commercially available off the shelf games that we mentioned in module two to help develop literacy skills. And I mentioned Riven and Mist in the previous, previous version of it. And as a kind of finale to this little video is I wanted to introduce to you to this game here, which is all about an immersive game. But as you're playing the game, you can actually write stories as you go. It's actually really difficult to explain. So I'm just going to play the trailer to you now and you can see what you think. Dear Traveller, we have received your message that your vessel has been destroyed and your colleagues have been lost. Your mission is unchanged. Explore the three lost civilizations and record your findings. When your computer prompts you to write, use your keyboard to complete the entries as shown here. The prompts identify points of interest and provide a catalyst for your writing. 
but you may also record your thoughts freeform. When you have completed this analysis, it will become a matter of public record, a final elegy to these dead worlds. stories, share them, and we will all hear you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and as you can see, it's a different take on a game, but it's certainly really, really interesting in terms of developing literacy skills and immersive and creative writing skills. Anyway, we get now to the, the final task. Now, all I want you to do is I want you to download a language app onto your phone um, or onto your computer and have a go with it. See if you can learn a, different, uh, a few different phrases in a language other than your own. Um, and at the end of this module, we're going to be coming back and we're going to be talking about some of the um, important features that we think around mobile apps for learning languages, but also some of the other genres of apps that we're going to look at later on in the video. As always, don't forget to use the hashtag GamesCourse to help bind the conversation together online, and we look forward to engaging with you in the online forum. See you in the next video.